Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be covering the basics of regular expressions so that you can get started using them in FSOF Transact. We'll cover what regular expressions are, how they are used in Transact, the components that make up regular expressions, and resources for learning and practicing. First off, what are regular expressions? Regular expressions, often called regex, are a tool for matching patterns in text. They help us to capture variations of text as well as dynamic data like numbers, names, and dates. In the example below, you'll see that with one regular expression, we are able to capture five variations of an invoice number label as they often appear on invoices. We are even able to capture just the word invoice without capturing undesired labels like invoice date and invoice amount. Don't worry if you don't understand what's going on yet as we'll be building up from the basics. Regular expressions are used in many areas of FSOF Transact. The most often is used in extraction. We use regular expressions to match key and value patterns, start and end patterns for, for tables, as well as table column headers and values. On top of that, regular expressions can be used to make sure that extracted values are a valid pattern and in our format conversion plugin to transform extracted values into a desired format. Now let's get started with the most basic form of a regular expression, matching a word or phrase literally. By using a word or phrase as a regular expression, it will match that word or phrase in a block of text as often as it occurs. Keep in mind that this is case sensitive and will not capture any variations in the text. In the real world, however, there are variations in documents that require us to write more flexible regular expressions to reli reliably capture the text we want. In regular expressions, there are many special characters that allow us to make our regular expression capture more than just a single variation of text. The first one I want to cover is the pipe character. The pipe character can be found above the return key on most keyboards and is a vertical line. In a regular expression, it means or. In the example below, I put a pipe after invoice number and added invoice date to the regular expression so that now it will capture both invoice date and invoice number. Oftentimes, the value we are wanting to extract is dynamic and can contain variations of letters, numbers, and other special characters. In regular expressions, there are many tokens we can use to capture a wide array of characters. For instance, a period will capture any character including letters, numbers, special characters, and even spaces. A backslash followed by the letter D will capture any number, think D for digit. A backslash followed by the letter W will match any letter or number, think W for word. And backslash S will capture any white space character like spaces, tabs, or line breaks, think S for space. The invoice numbers below are all the same length, but can contain letters, numbers, spaces, and dashes. We can use a combination of the different tokens available to capture all of the variations with a single regular expression. Oftentimes, the variations of text or numbers we want to capture are not the same length and can contain optional characters. Luckily, in regular expressions, there are quantifiers that allow us to capture different ranges of characters. An asterisk allows us to capture zero or more of the preceding character or token. A plus sign is very similar, but it means one or more of the preceding character or token. A question mark means zero or one. I like to think of it as making a character optional. And curly, inside curly brackets, we can put a range like two to four by, by putting two comma four inside the brackets. With curly brackets, you can also specify an exact amount by putting just a single number. In the example below, with different variations of writing the same phone number, we can see that only one of the numbers starts with the country code of one. So in the regular expression, we put a one followed by a question mark to make it optional. Next could be a parentheses or a dash, or it could be a number. So we put a period followed by a question mark before the 800 in the regular expression to make those special characters optional. 
Next in the regular expression, we have the number 800, which will match that number exactly. After 800, there could be 0, 1, or 2 non-number characters. So we use a period followed by asterisk to signify 0 or more characters before we get to the next number. Then we have three fives, so I put a five followed by a plus sign in the regular expression, but we could have put a five followed by a three in curly brackets like I did for the zero. As you will learn with regular expressions, there are many different ways to capture the same value. The next tool in our regular expression playbook are brackets. Much like tokens, they allow us to capture a variety of different characters. Brackets allow us to combine these options together, though. If you have a character that can be a variety of different characters, like a letter, number, space, or other special character, you can put all the options inside of brackets to capture any of those characters or tokens that occur. In the example below, we have several invoice number variations that can contain uppercase, letters, numbers, spaces, and dashes. So inside the brackets, I put a range of letters, uppercase A to Z. You could also specify lowercase a to Z if those existed. I also put a range of numbers, 0 through 9, and a space and a dash. Then after the brackets, I put 4 in curly brackets, meaning that there can be 4 or more of these in a row. With that simple regular expression, we can capture a large variety of invoice numbers. That covers the basics of regular expressions, but I want to encourage you to practice using them to really get the concepts nailed down. There are many regular expression testing tools, but a popular one is Regex Buddy. You can also use a website like regex101.com, which is what I use to create all the screenshots in this video. Lastly, I encourage you to watch our videos on advanced regular expressions and key value extractions to see more examples of regular expressions and how they are used in FSoft Transact. Once again, we covered what regular expressions are, how they are used in Transact, the components that make up regular expressions, and resources for practicing. Thanks for watching.